Did you know that every product in the IMView catalog has an audience rating? There are two categories of purchasable products, general audience, or GA, and access pass only, or AP. Some things are not suitable at all for IMView's platform, and those are referred to as unfit for IMView, or UFI. The virtual goods policy covers these guidelines in detail, and that's exactly what we're going to discuss right now coverage. While all of the guidelines must be met for a product to be considered general audience, one of the most specific and easiest to ensure is called the Minimum Coverage Guidelines, or MCG for short. This specifically affects clothing products for avatars and is a rule that states that sensitive areas of the body must be covered. Think of it as a bit like a decency rule and also as a rule that general audience products must contain built-in underwear. On female avatars, this is the nipple area as well as genitals and buttocks, and for male avatars, it's the genitals and buttocks as well. Let's dive deeper into what this means and looks like. On all products, there should be a layer that is skin tight or skin composite. This is the layer closest to your avatar's skin. It's on this layer that the minimum coverage guidelines must be met. It's important to note that if the MCG area is covered by an additional layer on your product, say a pants mesh or a skirt, it doesn't necessarily mean you've properly covered it. You can have as many layers as you'd like covering this area, but the bare minimum and the requirement is that the skin composite layer does completely cover it. Additionally, there are some meshes in the catalog that actually don't include these body parts at all. These mesh developers chose not to include the body parts at all, so they're completely invisible, and these are acceptable to derive from. IMView makes it very easy to confirm that your product covers the MCG. In Studio, you can select the minimum coverage guideline skin as a layer on your avatar, as well as a special MCG pose to let you see those hard to reach areas that an avatar doesn't normally show off. It's important to test different scenarios as you are designing your product. It can be easiest to ensure your MCG is met by hiding materials on your clothing with a black opacity map until you reveal your lowest skin composite layer. Once you've placed your underwear and covered the MCG, simply unhide the materials again by removing the opacity to continue working on your design. Now, let's talk nuance. There are some things to keep in mind about the MCG. The minimum coverage guideline area cannot be covered in fake flesh or skin tone that would give the impression of nudity. This violates the ethics of the rule and would get your product reclassified as access pass only. Also, it is very important that every pixel of the red portion of the guidelines is 100% completely covered. No pixels leaking off the edges, no transparency, 100% covered. Lastly, a product may technically cover the MCG, but be aware of other guidelines that must be met to ensure the product meets general audience guidelines. Excessive blood or gore, alcohol or drug references, and strong profanity in your product may still require it to be an AP product, even if the MCG is covered. Product reclassification is something you do not want. If your product is re-rated to access pass only, it will cost you as your product is automatically refunded to all users that purchased it and are now unable to use it. Additionally, it is possible that your account could be suspended due to the severity of the violation or the debt your account is placed in due to the refunds. It's very important to avoid this by following the rules of the virtual goods policy carefully. We hope this helps as you create your clothing designs here on IMBO.